Uh, yeah, uh, are you able to listen me? Yeah, hello everyone. Welcome to the Mercury Virtual. Hope you are doing good. Today I'm going to continue with the same module that we have started in the next uh, last class. That is a new module. Uh, that is the business skills for e-commerce. In the last class, we have started with the introduction of e-commerce. That is how uh, electronic commerce is required as a business skill or is required as a skill for the businesses. That is the business skills for e-commerce. In the last class, we have started with the new module. This is the new module that is a business skills for e-commerce. Uh, and uh, we have covered only few topics of the e-commerce. Only Why few topics? Because that is a new module and uh, I'm not uh, covering much topics, but uh, in the today's class, there are less number of students. But means uh, there is no student uh, till 4.45 as per the IST. That is half an hour or 45 minutes is over, but no students are available. So that's not a good thing. It's okay. It's a recorded lectures. You can also download the recorded lectures. So uh, don't waste time and let's start the session. So let's start with the last class introduction. That is the starting of the module. That is what we have covered in the last class. In the last class, we have started with chapter number one. That is the introduction to e-commerce. That is the first chapter. Uh, this is the structure or these are the various uh, topics that is available in the e-commerce. Uh, chapter number one. Uh, what is the objectives, then introduction, definition, features, then this, this, these are the various chapters, levels, SWOT analysis. So we have started with uh, first objective, introduction, definition. We have covered these three topics, even uh, features of e-commerce is also we have discussed. So let's start with the objective. First of all, what is the e-commerce? That is the electronic commerce. That means whenever we do the purchasing or whenever we do the trading, that means uh, purchasing and selling that is buying and selling of goods and services uh, via internet that is known as electronic commerce commerce means simply trading of goods and services but when trading is done electronically when e is added that means it is done electronically means I via internet that is known as the e-commerce that is the e-commerce i'm repeating again whenever any person is able to or any person is doing the transactions uh, able to do the trading of goods and services over the internet that is known as e-commerce. The basic chapter of this uh, uh, or the basic uh, topics of this chapter includes the e-commerce. What is the difference between the traditional and the electronic business? So after reading this chapter, you will be able to understand the concept of e-commerce, levels of e-commerce, uh, SWOT analysis, that is the analyze the uh, SWOT of the e-commerce, then uh, different forces or different uh, capabilities that is available with the e-commerce or different factors that drives the e-commerce so these are the few topics that is available uh, or, or these are the uh, topics that uh, you are able to understand after doing the after studying this chapter then we have discussed introduction of the e-commerce that is what is introduction and how we are using the e-commerce so this says, in the past few years, enterprises across the globe have experienced uh, significant changes in their business information uh, system. What are the significant changes that is available? That is, uh, first of all, there is a, uh, not an e-commerce, that is only a commerce, but now it is an e-commerce. Huge investments were made in the enterprise resource planning system implementation. Uh, but uh, they are uh, able to use the business decisions on a time. So placing E in front of any process seems, seems to the magic prescription for never-ending story of success. That is, whenever we use the E, that means the electronically or the electrical or electronic. Or suppose we, if you say email, that is the electronic mail. E-commerce, that is the electronic commerce e-sales that is the electronic sales so these are the few example that is using that is just a few example that we are using while doing the operations uh, yeah. internet for examples is becoming one of the most popular medium in transmitting various data users can uh, find any kind of information within a shorter time uh, compared with the conventional uh, method that consumes more time so user can find any number of or n number of and kind of information within a shorter time so this consumes uh, less time when we, whenever we use the e in place of any process this is 
the emergence of the internet throughout the world has been contributing such a variety medium in doing the business and their lifestyle that is whenever we use the e that means uh, done electronically that is usage of the internet so internet is widely used in day to day scenario whenever we use the any any concept that we are using that is the usage of the internet in fact internet is the essential prerequisite for the existence of e-commerce that is whenever we do the e-commerce internet is the uh, basic need for the e-commerce so this is defined the e-commerce this is the important line e-commerce or the electronic commerce has been defined as the ability to perform transactions involving the exchange of goods and services between two or more parties using electronic tools and technique so it is an ability to perform the transactions involving the exchange of goods and services that is exchange means uh, selling and purchasing of goods and services between two or more parties there is a sender there is a receiver there is a sender there are more than one receiver that is between two or more parties using electronic tools and techniques so this is known as e-commerce so it is defined as the ability to perform transactions involving the exchange of goods and services between two or more parties using electronic tools and techniques the explosion of e-commerce has created new phenomena in the lifestyle especially in shopping activities that is uh, whenever consumer consumes the goods and services like magazine airline ticket via the internet then we also studied about the definition that is the definition of the e-commerce so this says the word commerce is the basic concept for the electronic commerce that means uh, trading of goods and services that is the commerce so it is the basic concept for the e-commerce pertaining to buying and selling of goods that is whenever we do the uh, buying and selling of goods that is known as the commerce while commercial denotes business practice and activities intended to make the profit so commerce means the purchasing of goods and services purchasing and selling but the one word is also added that is purchasing and selling of goods and services um, to for the sake of internet or the for the sake of profits that is the main target is to gain the profit so e e electronic commerce like any other business deals with the exchange of money for soft or hard goods and services kalakota and winson in 1997 defined the e-commerce with various perspectives what are the various perspective in respect of the communication business process service online so these are the four perspectives that is used uh, that defines the e-commerce so these are the various perspectives of the e-commerce one is for the from the point of view of the communication perspective then there is a point of view of the business process perspective then service perspective then online perspective so these are the various perspectives that we have discussed communication perspective means uh, uses the e-commerce for the communication purpose like network telecommunication or any other media electronic mode of communication business process perspective means uh, it is a usage of the application for automation of the business products like uh, whenever we deal with the businesses there is a, a manual way so doing the business automatically uses the automatic method that is done by the business process perspective that is a utility of the e-commerce then a uh, service perspective that is the usage of the e-commerce as a tool for the firms consumers and managements then online perspective that is the capability of buying and selling products and information on the internet the term commerce is treated as a transaction between business partners that is a commerce is treated as a transaction between business partners what is usage therefore the term e-commerce seems to fairly narrow to people it is a broader definition of the e-commerce and then we have discussed that it is an potential to unleash immoneless saving and business activities but the practically remain illusive so e-commerce is electronic business it's using the power of computers the internet and share software to send and receive product specification and drawings e-commerce is the new profitable way to conduct business which goes beyond the simple movement of information that is e-commerce is the new and the profitable way to conduct the business 
it is a new way and the profitable way to conduct the business which goes beyond the simple movement of information that is goes the uh, simple movement of information and expands the electronic transaction from point to sale or point of sale requirements determination and production scheduling e-commerce uses key standards and technology including the edi technical data interchange hypertext markup language extensive markup language and the step so these are the various technologies that is using that is edi technical data interchange hypertext markup language and the extensible markup language e-commerce is made possible through the expanded technologies of the internet the world wide web and the value added net uh, then we have discussed about theory that is what is the internet how we are using the email for accessing the internet how we are using the email for uh, going into the internet for dealing with the internet then uh, we have used various technology like electronic trading electronic procurement electronic purchasing electronic marketing that is whenever we use the e-commerce these are the various technology terminology that is also using like electronic trading electronic procurement purchasing marketing these are the uh, few concepts that is um, related to the e-commerce or the e-business and the last point is most important point that is e-commerce transaction model can be of b2b that is business to business business to consumer customers to customer that is b2b b2c and the c2c then the next is features of e-commerce that is uh, what are the qualities of e-commerce or the features of e-commerce so this is electronic commerce means better communication and data interchange information that is essential for every and any business that is uh, it means the better com business communication and data interchange that is very essential for any business the quality and quantity of information which a business deliver to customer or use this information to make decisions can determine just how competitive the business is so these are the various terms that we have studied in the last class features of the uh, e-commerce uh, now comes to the today's topic that is the features or this enables or enabling the firm to use the or edge over the competitor for performing the operations one is improved responsiveness that is the first part that is how to improve the response of the customers that is the improved responsiveness so this is how does e-commerce help business that is uh, how does e-commerce helps a business and their response it helps by improving responsiveness to market conditions that is there is a market condition so it helps to improve the response to the market condition and their customer preferences that is customer is given the preferences that is given that is helps to make the or improve the responsiveness to the customer conditions or the customer preferences or the market condition every business must now how uh, must know how important timing to marketing and selling products that is what is the market condition if it is a demand then businesses grow as per the demand that is the businesses uh, doing the transactions when there is a demand in the market so all these response is given uh, by the e-commerce so this is timing is important to cater to the demand of customers if distributors dealers and sales force don't get the right information at the right time there will be a financial crisis as well as the losing valuable customers if there is no right information at the right time so there will be a financial crisis or we also use or we also lose the customers the next point says e-commerce network enable a company to implement marketing programs uh, with the great precision such as so uh, whenever we use the e-commerce it also enables a company to implement the marketing programs what are the or what is the usage or what are the uh, ways to implement the marketing program such as print competitiveness with a change in marketing tactics before they can react that is whenever we use the e-commerce uh, there is a print competitive competitive with a change in the marketing 
that is how to change the marketing concepts then improve the responsiveness by revising the price changes and marketing programs as and when required then the next category or the next feature is the expedites and the streamlined reporting that is uh, we can also use the expertise and the streamlined reporting that is at the same time uh, we are dealing with the rec reporting purpose that is we report with the e-commerce so this says it has been an experience in conventional commercial practices with factors like delays and ineffective in reporting system crippling effectiveness that is uh, whenever we use the conventional method that is the uh, prior methods we use the various factors like delays ineffectiveness reporting system <coughs> crippling effectiveness responsive timely information flows from sound information or sound management system e-commerce improves delivery and distribution both within and outside the organization so with the help of e-commerce we can also increase the uh, delivery and distribution of the transactions within and outside the organization that is there is an organization we can increase the transactions or we can decrease the transactions uh, within the organization or outside the organizations what are the benefits that is provided by the e-commerce the benefits that is provided by the e-commerce are a stored list of key receivers facilitate distribution electronic um, delivery time so these are the various key features that is available uh, then so these are the two key features that is or benefits that is provided by the e-commerce one is stored list of key receivers one is the electronic delivery time then the next category or the next feature that is provided by the e-commerce is coordinates sales efforts that is the it coordinates with the sales effort that it improves the sales in the organization in the company this is some marketing studies reveal that most sales people spend nearly 75 percent of their time on the roads that is uh, most sales person spend most of the time on their roads relying heavily on the telephone calls for contact with their head offices that is their majority of the time is gone on the road either on the telephone calls for contact with the head offices telephone tax makes an endless frustrating game out of the tracking system that is if i am the sales person i am doing the sales so m my mind escape up or that is uh, we are i'm not capable of doing the sales i'm not capable of doing the or capturing the uh, customers so whenever we use the electronic commerce there is a advantage uh, that whenever we do the electronic business that eliminates first of all the telephone why because everything is doing online there is no hard and fast food that we go into the road uh, pro sales a product or product sales or either we use the telephone calls for the selling purpose no there is no criteria but when we use the e-commerce it automatically update with the help of online with the help of internet it provides the various advertisement various sales category various uh, advantages various discounts on the sales so that is done by the e-commerce so this says in addition misplaced and undelivered information results in low sales record sometime when we do the sales manually without use of the electronic uh, media that is internet sometimes there is a misplaced and the undelivered information that results in the low sales record so what are the benefits that is provided by the e-commerce first of all it eliminates the telephone tag that is there is no tag of the telephone that eliminates the telephone tag then the next benefit is sending and receiving the message at the convenience that is not that uh, if i'm going to send the message i'm going to send at the same time no at any time we can send at in the same way at any time we can receive the message then uh, next point says linking the sales team together including international representatives that is we can link the uh, different pers persons who are sitting uh, at different places or the distinct places so there is no hard and fast rule that uh, we have to uh, go or we have to do the or uh, send the letter with the help of the letter box no there is no criteria we can link or e-commerce can link the different team members together 
so that uh, it may be include the international representative that is uh, persons living outside the country with the use of internet they can chat with each other they can uh, communicate with each other last point says it closing the sales without any delay it means the electronic commerce or the electronic business uh, also closes the sales that is at the end there is a closing of the sales whenever there is a 31st of march that is the closing period of the business so it also helps to close the sale with the help of preparation of balance sheet uh, with the usage of internet so these are the various benefits of the e business or the electronic commerce next uh, feature that is provided by the e business is effectiveness and the efficiency so as the name advice effectiveness e-commerce provides a, or uh, increases the effectiveness and the efficiency of a public relationship program broadcast press releases financial updates and other corporates communication that is uh, whenever we use the e-commerce it increases the efficiency and the effectiveness that is there is the efficient of the or efficiency of the program and effectiveness of the program that is effectiveness and efficiency of a public relation program broadcast press releases financial updates and other corporate communications so it also increases the efficiency effectiveness of the program public relationship press releases financial updates corporate communications Uh, copy reviews and approval are expedited by circulating instant messages to key internal and external contacts so this increases the contacts effectiveness efficiency of the programs that is available into the this one then the next one is close contact with clients that is uh, next feature that is available is with the help of e-commerce there is a close contact with the clients with different persons why because everything is online so there is a close communication among the clients with the help of chat with the help of irc that is a internet relay chat or with the help of messaging with the help of telecommunication that is any mode we are using any mode persons are using but with the help of e-commerce they are communicating with each other this is in any business where maintaining close contact with customers is a priority consideration electronic business can increase responsiveness of the company and ensure customer satisfaction that is uh, whenever uh, we are using the business in any business whenever we uh, maintain the close contact with the customers that is a priority consideration electronic business can increase responsiveness of the company and ensure company or customer satisfaction that is there is a close contact with different clients appointment confirmations request for information follow up reports and electronic data interchange can be effected with greater efficiency using instant messages that is there is appointment confirmation a request for information follow up reports and the electronic data interchange that is edi can be effected or can be affected with greater efficiency that is whenever we use the e-commerce various uh, users are impacted uh, or affected with the uh, usage of the greater efficiency using the instant messages that is the, this provide the instant messages or this provide the efficiency in place of the on in usage of the instant messages then the next category is planning and execution of meetings that is uh, whenever we use the e-commerce that is a mechanism of electronic operations in business facilitates planning and execution of meetings so whenever we do the electronic operations like e-commerce that uh, also facilitates the planning and execution of messages that is we can plan and execute various meetings with the help of e-commerce suppose i am st- um, uh, sitting at in uh, sitting in india and you are from nigeria if i plan to do the meeting this is the best example we are teaching with each other you are i am a teacher you are a student that is you gain something and i am i am giving the knowledge to you 
and means i am sharing my knowledge to you to my students so this is also done by the internet that is also e-commerce why e-commerce because uh, you are paying to my organization that is a mercury solution that means trading of goods and services i'm giving my knowledge and you are paying for the knowledge so it is also a or it also done by the e-commerce so uh, this is the next uh, one example the main topic is planning and execution of meetings that is we can also uh, maintain the or we can also arrange the seminar workshops conventions operations that deals with the planning and execution of the meetings so execution or executive management meeting seminar workshop symposia and convention takes a great deal of time and effort to manage arrangement must be uh, coordinated among a variety of diverse groups in different locations that is uh, there is arrangement that must be coordinated that is if there is a arrangement uh, in the meeting in the different locations so arrangement must be coordinated among a variety of diverse groups in different locations example hotels speakers exhibitors attendants media etc so uh, uh, whenever we arrange the meeting we have to arrange the different concepts different uh, criteria that is using for the meeting and there are always the headache of late breaking events and last minute announcements so whenever we use the meeting there is a arrangement of the hotel in which different persons can uh, get together and uses the meeting uses the technique for the meeting uh, use the project uh, use the speakers attendees media media includes the various projectors headphones and there are so many uh, devices that is used uh, whenever we do the meeting in the hotel or in the manual way but when we use the e business that is the electronic business th there are various terms like video conferencing document conference computer based conference which offers companies the flexibility of both electronic and paper distribution and can make these jobs easier and more effective now what are the seven unique features of e-commerce technology these are the seven few new features that is available in e-commerce so first of all let's take a break then uh, continue with this topic that is what are the seven unique features that is available of the e-commerce technology so let's take a break right now so come back from the break let's continue the session let's continue what we have uh, doing so let's start with the seven unique features that is available of e-commerce technology that is the seven unique features of e-commerce technology dimensions of e-commerce technology that is what are the features their names in the same way significance in business that is what is the significance of the e-commerce or what is the significance of the feature that is available for e-commerce in the e-business that is in the business one of the features that is available in ubiquity that is the one feature that is a ubiquity this says internet web technology is available everywhere that is uh, we can use the internet or the web technology everywhere it is a, that is at work home or elsewhere via mobile devices anytime that is we can use the internet we can use the web technology uh, that is available everywhere either it may be work at work either it may be at home or else or and elsewhere uh, via mobile devices anytime that is we can use the internet technology at home at work or uh, and elsewhere via mobile devices at any time what is the significance of ubiquity that is the usage of internet web technology in the business this says the marketplace is extended beyond traditional boundaries and is removed from a temporal and geographical location that is the marketplace that is available that is extended beyond the uh, traditional boundaries that is available and is removed from a temporal and uh, geographic location marketplace is created shopping can be taken place anywhere that is whenever we use the internet for the uh, commerce so we can uh, purchase the goods we can uh, take out the goods from anywhere we can do the shopping from anywhere that is shopping can take place anywhere customer convenience is enhanced and shopping costs are reduced so whenever there is a requirement so we can enhance the customer convenience 
and uh, and uh, shopping costs are reduced now the next part is global reach this is the next part that is a global reach that is also a dimension of the e-commerce technology that is a global reach that is uh, whenever we use the e-commerce there is a global reach the global reach means uh, that is common for or that is unique for the or that is there is a reaches of the global that is we can use the worldwide global or worldwide research that is a global reach this says the technology reaches across national boundaries around the earth that is the technology that is required or that is available that also uh, reaches across the national boundaries that is around the earth then uh, what is the significance in the business that is uh, what is the significance that is available in the business that is what is the usage of the global reach uh, this says commerce is enabled across cultural and natural or national boundaries that is whenever we use the commerce that is uh, enabled across the cultural and national boundaries that is the commerce is used across the cultural and the national boundary boundaries seamlessly and without any modification that is whenever we, we do the commerce that is a uh, uh, purchasing that is the trading of goods and services that is uh, beyond the national boundary that is beyond the boundaries it can take place without any modification market space includes potentially billions of consumers and millions of business worldwide that is there are multiple consumers that is the billions of consumers and there are billions of businesses worldwide that is available in the or that is used in the e-commerce then the next uh, feature that is available that is the third feature is universal standard that is uh, there is one set of technology standards namely internet standards that is these are the standards that we follow for the e-commerce that is known as the internet standards in the same way there is only one set of technical media standards across the globe that is uh, whenever we use the e-commerce in the business so there is only one set of technical media that that is available across the globe then next category or the next feature that is available is richness that is uh, richness means audio video and text messages are possible in case of the e-commerce then audio video and text marketing messages are integrated into a single marketing message and consuming experience so whenever we use the video audio and text that marketing or that messages are integrated into a single marketing message and consuming the experience in the e-commerce that is a richness then the next category is your interactivity that is uh, we can interact with the e-commerce that is the significance or that is a uh, uh, training of goods and services that is the interactivity this says the technology works through interaction with the users that is that there is a technology that works through the interaction that is available with the users consumers are engaged in a dialogue that dynamically adjusts the experience to the individuals that is whenever uh, we use the e-commerce there is an interaction uh, in a dy dynamically form that adjusts the experience to the individual and make the consumer a co-participant in the process of delivering goods to the market that is a we can interact or consumers can interact with the or uh, there is a interaction more interaction that is a uh, among the trading of goods and services whenever we use the e-commerce in the business then the next feature is information density that is uh, there is a more information or the technology that reduces the information cost and this is the quality whenever we use the e-commerce that reduces the cost why cost because there is no middleman there is no trader uh, retailer there is no wholesaler uh, directly goods goes to the consumer that is online that is the e-commerce so there is a reduction in the cost of the uh, shipping for example and in the same way it also increases the or raises the quality it also raises the quality means the quality is also increased whenever we use the inform or whenever we use the e-commerce what is the significance of information density in business information processing storage and communication cost drop dynamically so whenever there is a information processing storage and communication cost that drops that dynamically or dramatically that is there is a huge uh, 
reduction in the cost that is uh, the information processing and the storage while currency accuracy and timeliness improves the uh, greatly that is uh, there is the increase in the accuracy increase in the timeliness and decrease in the currency it increases uh, it improves greatly information becomes plentiful cheap and accurate that is whenever we use the uh, e-commerce in business so there is the information that increase or that becomes the cheap that is very uh, low cost accurate and the plentiful plentiful means enough information about any material then the next uh, feature that is the last feature i think yeah seventh feature that is the personalization and the customization this is the technology which, which technology that is the e-commerce also allows personalized messages to be delivered to individual as well as the group so whenever uh, there is a requirement for example email that email can be sent to a particular person or more than one person that is the personalization or the customization that is we can customize the message as per my requirement or we can personalize we can give the message to a single person that is a personalization then what is the significance that is uh, the personalization of marketing messages and customization of product and services are based on individual characteristics that is whenever we use the personalization that is done for the uh, marketing messages and customization that is based on the individual characteristics now these are the seven important feature that is available for the e-commerce now comes to the need for the e-commerce that is what is the need for e-commerce in the day-to-day -day scenarios this is the global business environment is moving faster that is the environment is moving faster everyone is going from the manual way to the automation way that is with the use of internet even before Increased competition at home, abroad means quality as well as the profitability must be preserved by the corporate houses. That is, uh, there is a maintenance of the quality as well as maintenance of the prof profitability of the different consumers, different organizations. This pressure has led to a appraisal of the accepted existing business practice in the search for greater efficiently. That is. Whenever there is a pressure that also uses or reappraisal of the accepted existing business practices that is available in search of the greater quality. Traditionally, traditionally means in the earlier time, the response in the face of the competitive threat, that is uh, whenever there is a response in the face of a competitive threat has reduced cost by L rationalizing production. So whenever there is a response, whenever we use the response in the production, so it is used that tra uh, traditionally the response in the face of competitive threat has been reduced the cost by L rationalizing production, shedding labor and reconstructing or restructuring uh, business coupled with investment in technology, improve productivity and generate the profit. That is uh, traditionally we can generate the profit, we can increase the profitability and we can uh, reconstruct the businesses whether b2b that is business to business or business to customer that is b2c these are the benefits to all the parties consumers that is customer or suppliers that is whether it may be b2b or whether it may be b2c there are benefits that is available to all the parties consumers that is customer or suppliers A reduction in acquisition times and cost lower prices of for goods and services expanded <coughs> number and quality of supplier increase in by productivity that is uh, there is a reduction in the acquisition times and cost lower prices for goods and services expanded number of qu and quality of supplier increase in the by productivity better management information and the better inventory control is possible so whenever we use the uh, e-commerce there is a better inventory control and there is a better management system a reduction time to market is also achievable that is uh, uh, there is a, a more reduction time that is also achievable giving the improved operating efficiencies and improved product quality as reduced cost
the payment process can also be improved that is when we use the e-commerce the payment process that is the uh, e-payment can be done that is the uh, payment process can also be improved and finally and most importantly a greatly expanded customer base b2b e-commerce was born out of an attempt to solve an administrative problem so if there is an administrative problem that can be solved by using the b2b e-commerce it developed a new computer standard to handle these needs which became known as EDI that is the electronic data interchange that is electronically we can interchange the data we can handle the data that is the electronically data interchange so this is the, the full form that is electronic data interchange today its descendant that is XML that is the extensible markup language a lighter simpler data interchange standard that is used by the b2b sites simple e-commerce sites first appeared in 1992 so this is the history that is first of all the site of e-commerce is available in 1992 the early e-commerce sites were virtual catalogs listing simply listing products for sale ordering was offline through email phone or fax that is whenever uh, when it is the first starting phase that is uh, when uh, it is first developed in 1992 so there is a simply a virtual catalogs simply a listing of products simply using the email phone or fax by 1996 so when the year came to the 1996 the technology has advanced greatly to produce virtual stores with shopping carts client accounts and with the development of protocols such as SSL enabled customer to order and pay for their purchase online directly by their credit cards e-commerce quickly become popular with the consumers and supplier that is e-commerce is also popular with the consumers and co supplier for consumers why it is popular it was fast easy and efficient that allows them or uh, allowing them to compare products price and service before purchase that is for customer it is a fast and the convenient way to handle all these queries or allow them to compare the product price and service before purchasing for example if I am planning to purchase a laptop then I, I, uh, I have to first of all I have to or it's my wish that I wish to uh, compare different sites different uh, brands of the laptop like Dell HP Lenovo Acer, which is a better price and which is a better quality which is a better compatibility which is a what is a better configuration for the laptop that is achievable or that is done or that is achieved by using the e-commerce if I am satisfied with the products price and services then only I'm going in the market to purchase the laptop it is from the customer point of view in the same way for from the supplier point of view it allows them to reach an unlimited international audience that is it uh, again to seek the uh, mind level of the various users 24 a day 7 days a week at reduced cost that is it is available at 24 a day 7 days in a week at the reduced cost today e-commerce is widely used and growing fast that is e-commerce is used widely e-commerce is widely used and the growing fast in the day-to-day -day scenario that is 24 a day 7 days a week at the reduced cost B2B is the largest, fastest growing and most profitable market. That is the business to business is the largest market, fast growing market and the most profitable market. According to IDC, that is International Development Council, this year it is expected to account for two third of the worldwide e-commerce. B2C is also expected to grow by the usage of the high speed internet that is B2B is also increased and the B2C is also increased future advantages or advances include digital money that is we use the digital signature e-wallets and the personal agents the internet is creating an uh, unpredicting and seeming infinite opportunities for both the customers and the businesses yet it is uh, one of the major problem that is changing so far that both the parties are overwhelmed by the speed of change that is if there is any change then both the parties that that is uh, sender and the receiver both accept the changes 
or uh, take the changes uh, effectively or at the starting phase e-commerce appears to be exempt from the kinds of constraints that have limited uh, companies historically an e-commerce environment handled in a proper manner with the right justification or customization of product and services the customers can also get the right product at the right time and for the right price companies can set new standards in efficiency and profitability so e-commerce is also used for the efficiency and profitability that is there is a efficient information there is a important information and there is also a profit whenever we use the e-commerce so this is the need for the e-commerce why there is a need for e-commerce why we are using the e-commerce so in simple terms we use the e-commerce or we need the e-commerce from the point of view of efficiency that is there is a efficient information profitability uh, winning the rules business flows b2b that is business to business b2c that is business to consumers so these are the various uh, natures these are the various needs that is available for the e-commerce right now the next topic is nature of e-commerce i'm not going to start this topic right now i'm going to start this topic in the next class that is in the tomorrow's class so that's all for uh, today's class session now if there is any doubt in your mind any type of doubt so please ask from me and please free feel free to ask from me there is no foundation that i am uh, seeking out a silly question no that is not the case so if there is any doubt then please ask the doubt yes uh, yeah tell me joseph hello yeah yeah joseph tell me uh yeah uh, i yeah i will share the book latest by tomorrow latest by tomorrow because this is the ebook i want to search for a new book so that uh, your concepts are clear very easily so i am searching for a book if it is available then it's okay otherwise i will share this book latest by tomorrow okay all right any other doubts okay uh you want to uh, do some uh, certification exam uh you are interested in uh, which field in programming field or in testing field programming whatever okay so you can do pardon uh can you can you type what are you saying oracle so you are dealing with or okay 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 you are uh, seem to uh, seem to have taken the oracle course right so you are uh, doing or uh, you must do the oracle 9i i am writing this is oracle 9i there is a certification of the oracle 9i that is available you are doing 11g right now uh, from which place Uh, you are doing right now 11g oracle from which place from nigeria only or uh, at okay at work and you want only certification exam for oracle you want only certification exam not any course okay 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 so just give me one or two days i will cl uh, just give me one or two days i will clarify with various certification courses exams so uh, i will tell you within one or two days after confirming each and everything okay all right thanks a lot joseph pardon
this is the author okay these are the various authors of this book like this one there are various author different uh, chapters are written by different authors like this one all right so different chapters are written by different authors so that you can uh, get the availability of this book or availability of the different opinions of different writers okay thanks a lot